Jimmy. What's up? What's up? Did I hit something? What the fuck what is, is that? Is there flat? Is flat? What? No. What the fuck? You better pull over and yeah. see. As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a graphic designer. I know I'd go from rags to riches if you would only say you can. Saul Bass, director, artist, and graphic designer. Born in New York City on May 8, 1920, to Jewish immigrant parents. He attended college at the Art Students League, studying under Georgi Kepesh, a leader in the Bauhaus aesthetic, a major influence to Bass's simplistic designs. After graduating, Bass moved to Hollywood in the 1940s to pursue a career in film. He eventually caught his big break designing the movie poster for Carmen Jones. The filmmakers liked it so much that they let him design the title credits. By now, Bass has worked with the likes of Alfred Hitchcock and Otto Preminger. He has revolutionized the way title sequences are done in movies, traditionally being a list of dull credits or ignored. I had felt for some time that the audience involvement with a film should really begin with the very first frame. To finish off the 60s, Saul makes an Oscar-winning short film titled Why Man Creates. From the 70s to the 80s, he starts designing logos for big companies like AT&T, Quaker, and Bell, being seen everywhere from airplanes to clothes. All of his logos follow his minimalist approach and are timeless, some still being used today. Bass has gone back to making title sequences and posters for legends like Stanley Kubrick and Martin Scorsese, creating some of the most iconic works in his career. He leaves a legacy that will live on forever in his work and continue to inspire new graphic designers. I want everything we do, that I do personally, that our office does, to be beautiful. I don't give a damn whether the client understands that that's worth anything or whether the client thinks it's worth anything or whether it is worth anything. It's worth it to me. 